up guys, YDC be here with some more Summoner's War action And today is gonna be another giveaway video because we've hit 35? 35,000? 35, yeah! So we'll also pick the winner for the last giveaway at the end of the video This week, like I said last video, right? This week we'll be streaming uh, on a weekday and we'll be streaming on Thursday Now the countdown timer is in the description because I'm going, you know, overseas over the weekend so I want to keep up the stream every week so we'll stream on Thursday this week and we'll do like we'll finish up TOA and do some arena and do some summons but that being said that being said let's do some summons today as well so someone told me that this place is a cursed place this island over here and they said the last island is where it's at is where the money is at so what we're gonna do we're gonna do like uh, some summons here today uh, we're gonna try for Perna and uh, you know what, you know what, let's just do a couple premium packs. This of course, courtesy of, you know, all the people who donated over, over, you know, last week's stream. There was like, there was enough for, for summons for this week as well. So, yeah, thank you to all of you that have been donating on stream. So, so we can go ahead and, you know, we can do like a couple premium packs. Let's do a couple, like just maybe, 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 maybe three. <laughs> Alright, let's do three premium packs and uh, and let's do the stones because the way I see it, right? Wait, let me just collect collect everything first. I even got a name change. Alright? I got a name change for luck. I got name changed, you know, to see if I can get lucky this time around. Any more? Are there any more? That's it. So, like, it's YDCV and the Chinese words actually just say YDCV. <laughs> That's how you pronounce the four words. Alright? So here we are, we're gonna do the summons 42. Well, I have 42! I have 42, so we're not gonna be doing random review of the day. I didn't know I have so many, 42. I have to clear up some space, actually. Just a second, just a second, let me just clear up the space here. Holy shit, I have like... I have so many 5 stars?! I mean, I have so many 6 stars?! I have 57? Let's try... Yesterday, you know, in yesterday's video, I noticed that people in channel 1, 2, 3, you know, they've been getting a lot of, a lot of things. So let's try 1, 2, 3 today. Actually, I've got a Chinese name. I should go to the Chinese channel because I like, got a Chinese name in the Chinese channel. You're probably going to get something. Let's go to 141. No, no, no. Let's go to 852. <laughs> These are both like Chinese speaking channels, but this one is the Hong Kong channel instead. As you can see, there we go. All right. Let's start off with the stones because yeah, as I was saying, right? If you look at the stones, I'm god damn it. If I get a, <laughs> I hope I don't get a bet. But anyway, if you look at the stones, like next week there's Leo. It's worth it to go for Leo, but I mean not as much as I would like Ritesh or Camila, right? So I probably won't summon next week for Leo. Probably won't. Okay, so I might as well just summon try try go for Perna. You know, Perna is still good. You know, even though some people think otherwise, I, I believe she's still good. So let's go. Let's go for Perna. You know, I don't really expect to get any... I've, how many summons do I have? Seven. I don't expect to get the lightning out of these seven. But, you know, let's just do it. And let's get enough fodder to six star. Um, like... Eight or nine... <laughs> I think I'm... By the end of this... I, oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, fuck. Like I was saying, like at the end of this, I probably will have enough fodder to 6 star like 4, 4 monsters. <laughs> right, I probably will have. And for sure, one of them is gonna be Bernard. I've been like farming the shit out of Giants, but you know, to no avail. I've not been getting any good luck in Giants to get any, you know, any good Swift runes with good speed substats on it. That's been happening for the last week. I've been staying in Giants for, you know, the whole day. Doing refills and shit, and it's so costly because every giant run is like one minute or so, right? And it's so fast, you just burn through, you know, lightning so fast. This fucking sucks, right? This is why, this is the reason why like, I don't want to do summons for you guys because it's just, it's just really demoralizing. I don't even know why I decided to do summons, should I just stop? Okay, we'll stop at, um... We'll stop when we run out of space, alright? We'll stop when we run out of space. I think that's about 20 more to go. Look at this rate of lightning, man. We started at what, 42? We're going to end up with 10 without lightning, probably going 20. And this is not just a one-off thing. Like, you know, you can't just pass it off and say, 
you know, so what? People get unlucky from time to time. You know, you don't expect to get lightning every 10 scrolls every single time. But, it's not happening every single time for the last... I think if you add these in, this would be up to like 700 scrolls already. 700 scrolls without net 5 with abysmal lightning rates. Right, it's like 1 in 20 or something like that. I'm getting fucking cows. Talk about cows. You know, the other day I told you I went for... I went for a barbecue. I mean, like this Thai barbecue. Like yesterday, I told you that, right? The story about that, and and it is like there was there was this beef that you know they, I like beef a lot, right? And and they were serving like I mean you you could like barbecue beef, and this beef it was just so dry. I don't know where the gun. It's like it was right out from the desert, from a 100 year old cow, and a fucking vampire sucked every single drop of blood from that cow. And then they chopped it up and then, you know, we started to barbecue and it was like a fucking biscuit, right? And I've been having problems shitting because of that. So as you can see, it's like about 20 mystical scrolls, more or less, I think we're up to 17, 18 or 19 now. With one lightning, that's about the rate I've been getting for the last 700 or so. Which is really, really sad. <laughs> Oh crap. Come on! Motherfucker! Uh, is that it? So we got how many lightnings? Two and. Oh, was it three? I can't remember. Two or three? Two. And I don't even know. I lost count already. When? Like the other day, someone told me in comments, like, he, he totally given up hope on getting a nat 5. Well, I'm at that stage as well. Like every, like, you know, every time we summon or, you know, I have no, I don't even believe that anything, you know, good is going to come out of it. At all. Ever. Alright, we're going to stop soon. I, I think we're probably at one or two more summons and we're at maxed out. This should be the last summon. There we go. This is the last one. Did anyone get an F5 in between? No. Fucking bullshit. <laughs> Look at all this additional fodder that I have to deal with. Look at all that. Oh my god, it's 47 fodder. And how many of them are martial cats? 1, 2, 3 martial cats. Like. Fairies, Grim Reapers, they're like, you know, there's a lot of identical pools, right, from Nat Trees. And from the, like, same element as well. Like, see, see Wind Lizard Man, I'm sorry, Veramos, you know, for those of you who don't have Veramos yet, you know, like, it, Fire, they like, come in pairs, you see, you at least get two of them, two of them. It's fucking bullshit. Ugh. Oh well. Like I said, not like we're expected. Let's do some arena. I'm at rank 974 now. Let's see if by the end of it we can end up somewhere, you know, in garden to see what they're what they're doing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do the top guy and refresh so we can get a wider scope of what type of defense people are doing. Like this guy here. I think if I can just get oblivion on him, right? If I can just get oblivion on him, then then we already then we just pop Theomars. But if I don't bring a Theomars of my own, alright, let's say for example I bring Bethany, right? Let's say for example I bring Bethany for this. And Bethany gets popped right at the beginning, then I'm fucked, right? But I look at Villa Jewel and I feel like bringing Bethany because you know, Villa Jewel is, is defense type and Bethany will just pop him. Let's go with Bethany. Let's just try it out, let's see. Firstly, we want Oblivion, Theomars, and pop him. After that, everything is not is easier. So it's a slow Mars. It's even slower, right, than my Bethany. And he's got a Vert to help out his 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 uh, Theomars. But I've got Velajul, and this is my chance now to be able to pop this this slow Mars over here. All right. Now I'm thinking. I don't have to use Shadow Arrow for this. I don't. I don't at all. I just normal attack and he's dead. 
Oh my god, didn't crit! It didn't crit! Holy shit, if it- Wow, if it survived, I could be in trouble. But that's not the case, that's not the case. I think... I think I'm gonna pop this... Actually, I can kill anyone. If I ignore defense, I can kill anyone. Let's go for bird. We didn't get the ignore prop. Fuck! Let me put out my cigarette. Why did I even bother summoning man? I knew it was gonna be shit! I knew it! Why did I do it? I don't know. I don't know if I should even gamble at when I go to Malaysia. Like, you know, I, I told you there's a casino there. I'm not so sure with this luck, it's gonna work out. Man, this is like really bullshit, right? This come to us like, are they like saying that, you know, it's like, hey, you know, these summons are from donations, so they are intentionally making the summon rates really bad for me? Is that it? I mean, if you're watching the first time, you know, you don't know how many summons I've been through with nothing at all. So you, you probably will say, you know, I don't, I shouldn't be complaining about it because that's expected, but come on, 700 scrolls, man. <laughs> 700, and it's, and it's not 700 over a year. It's 700 over, what, since Beth, which was like, what, I don't know, couple, one or two months ago, right? So it's a lot of money. I mean, it's, it, even though, it, I mean, it's still money, no matter how you look at it, all right? It's still money. Look at this, double Perna, motherfucker. Double Perna. <laughs> double Perna, wow, okay, 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 where, 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 my Amida? Double Perna. Hey, where? She should be somewhere near Chisun, I think. Yeah, there we go. Oh, god damn it! Wait, who do I want to use as an attacker here? Um, I can pretty much go anything for this, and it will work. Like I can go Rook, I can go, I can go Trevor, I guess. There's no armor breaker there, so for sure, I don't even need Velajul for this. By the way, I don't need Velajul. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring Praha. I'm gonna bring Ameda. I'm gonna bring Trevor. Alright, I'm gonna bring Trevor. Because this, like I said, look, it's fire and wind. Right? It's fire and wind. Um, yeah, Trevor. And I can go with Raok. Alright? And what was I saying? Ameda, yes. There's no armor breaker there! How are they ever gonna kill Ameda? Never, not gonna happen. Like, I should have brought the siren to be honest. It would have sped up everything, but... I don't see this going wrong. I don't see this failing. Ever, it's not gonna fail. You can prop. Well, that's a lot of... That's quite a lot of hits, huh? Damn it! Um, alright, so let's go for this corner instead, because... Because this one... What's wrong with my screen? Okay, now he's got attack buff. Now it's a different story. I got the stun off. Alright, with attack buff, they will pose a, a threat. But we're gonna... Should I heal? Um, I don't really want to heal now. I don't, I think, yeah, you know what, I'm just gonna heal. I'm just gonna heal. Because Chasun is going to wake up my Praha anyway, next turn. So, it's cool. Haha, <laughs> come on. I just need armor break on him. Yeah, Chasun was gonna wake him up. I'm gonna slow Chasun's speed down. Fairly straightforward. I don't. I really don't think that it, you know they're gonna pull it off. Yeah, we just do this. You can do fallen blossoms. Doesn't matter because this guy's gonna die now. And uh, we go for the next burn. Actually, do we have to even kill the perna? We don't really have to, right? I'm thinking we go for Veljewel instead because motherfucker with the immune. Oh my god! All right, let's kill the perna. It hurts. 
Because Praha's heal is not up yet, right? I think? I don't know. Let's slow down the speed. Alright, Praha still is healed. Yeah, like I said, it's, there's no way to lose this. I'm just gonna auto this. Yeah, I'm just gonna auto the rest of this. We killed this Purna, we killed the Better Jewel. I can even go Chasun first, but I decided let's go Villa Jewel first because... Oh, actually, never mind. We've got Armor Break on... Fuck that. Let's, we've got Armor Break on Chasun, so... Let's just go Chasun and pop her right now. You know, I was looking at the, uh... The Dark Cow, right? The the Dark Minotaur. I'm getting so much cows. And I noticed that the Multiplier is 530% for his second skill on a two-turn cooldown. Right? However, what was what stopped me from six starring him is the measly 500 base attack that he has, right? And six star awaken level 40, 530 base attack. That's not gonna cut it. That's not gonna cut it. Like even if he's like half HP, he'll probably do about the same damage as Trevor, and he's not self buffing like Trevor. Which is why I stopped, you know, I stopped right there and said, no, I don't want to do that. Let's look at this. Tiana Orion, wow. Whoa, Tiana Orion, double Kumar. Wow, okay. Alright, what's this? Leader skill? Defense, right? Wow, okay. So there's no immunity here, I'm just gonna bomb him. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna bomb him, but the thing is, I don't have two Jojos. And I don't have Malaka. If I bring Taurus into this fight here, if I bring Taurus into this fight, it's not gonna end well. It isn't. It's not gonna end well. Taurus is just gonna die. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring Jojo, yes. And uh, I'm gonna bring like... Um, who else should I bring? Jojo and... Uh, I'm gonna bring Chasun for this. Yeah. And then I'm gonna bring Bella Jewel. I don't need Chloe for this. I'm gonna bring Bella Jewel. This should work. I mean, Jojo double bombs does a total of about 38,000, right? With buff. It should pop both of the people in sight. Now the thing is here, if I buff Sanctuary now, Jojo's gonna move, but we can't, we got double wheel wounds, right? So, I'm gonna try take off this thing here first. Alright. And then there's gonna be double trick of fires, I suppose. But Jojo's gonna be survive, it's gonna survive through that, no problem. It's like, it doesn't do much at all, but the thing is Jemaya here, he's in some trouble. We're gonna fall and blossoms him, huh? Alright, I'm gonna heal. Even though it's not gonna heal anything, I'm gonna do it. And, uh, what I'm gonna do is do this. Alright, oh my god, wait a second, Villager will stand up. Villager will stand up, never mind, we'll just do it one bomb. Oh my god! Fucking Jojo! What? What the fuck? Wait a second! Oh, Tiana removes the bombs. I forgot about that. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! 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 Oh my god! Shit! It doesn't matter what I do now because Jojo's gonna die because fucking Orion's gonna kill him. Oh, come on! Oh, shit, we're dead. Oran's gonna kill Jojo. Oh, 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 come on, come on, we can survive. We can survive, we can still survive. The thing is, what good does it do if we survive? I need to kill this Tiana, she's removing the bombs, right? Kill her. Oh my god. Wow, what the fuck? Oh, fuck, I'm gonna break on Jojo. Wow, again and again. What the fuck, man? Oh, we lost. We fucking lost. Oh, fuck, fuck. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, we lost. I, there's no way Bellagio is gonna kill double Kumar. Oh my god. This mistake made by me. I forgot that Winds of Change removes fucking... Removes the buffs on them, right? Ah, uh, removes the debuffs on them. Well, I don't know. Maybe... We can't even land the dot, that's the worst thing! And he would re even resist the stun! What the fuck, this is a will ruined Skumar! Not Endure! He's Violent Will! Right? 
He's resisting. The bombs, he's resisting the bomb stance. He's resisting the dots from Velodrool. You know what? Fuck that, Kuma. Let's switch targets. Let's try this other Kuma. I mean, in between these two guys, there's a chance I can survive this because, look, it doesn't do much damage. Fuck this. Fuck this. Motherfucker, what, what, what the fuck is his name? Alright, we do him again. Enough of this bullshit. Enough of this bullshit, okay? You just kill him. Let's kill this fucking annoying prick. Do I need the siren here? No, I do not. I'm gonna go Galleon. I'm gonna go Galleon. I'm gonna go this guy. And guess what? Guess what? Again, I'm gonna bring this guy. I'm gonna bring him. Yes, I am. And we're gonna bring... Um, do I want Praha? Actually, no, I don't want Praha. I don't really want Praha for this, but I want a healer. Oh, we can go Lumi. Yeah, we can go Lumi. But the thing is, with the trick of fire, fire thingy going on... Hang on a second here. I, yeah, yeah, let's just go Lumi. I think it's gonna work. Alright, we're gonna kill off one Kumar first. Actually, no, I can kill Orion first. Yeah, I can. I will kill Orion first then. It's gonna be simple. Doesn't matter, you can do whatever. Motherfucker! Always stun! Always stun! Fuck this Orion first. Alright, first we fuck this Orion, okay? Um, did they do double trick of fires yet? I don't know which one did the trick of fire. Alright, this one did trick of fire, this one did the default attack because he's got a speed buff. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna reset him. So he doesn't do trick of fire again. Alright, I'm gonna reset him. And then we're gonna fuck this Orion. Oh my god, we didn't get the fucking proc. Yeah, fuck this Orion, I'm gonna fuck him up. And then I'm gonna fuck this Tiana. <laughs> Alright, and the thing is, I can't heal now. I can't heal. But it's okay, I'm gonna reduce this attack bar. And um, let's armor break this guy. Yeah, um, I'm not gonna do armor, I'm just gonna default attack him. And Lumi can heal him. Oh, he's dead. He dead. He does 2.7k damage. Like, fuck that, I'm just gonna pop him up to full HP. And that's it. Yeah. That's it. Look at this violence, man. Whoa, what the fuck? He killed my galleon. What the fuck? Wow. Fucking water. I mean, fire critting my water. Yeah, go die. Go die. Alright, let's, let's refresh again. So now we're at rank 231. Let's see what we got here. We got this wind water heavy, heavy, heavy team, which I'm just gonna wombo down because it's too wind water heavy. 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 <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm just gonna wumble this down. I'm thinking to make another OG. I don't know. Should I make another OG and make it like Rage Blade? And it has a 400% multiplier, which is gonna do like 30... A total of 35,000. Is that enough? With armor break? But then again, if, if I'm gonna do that, why don't I just... It goes back to the point. Why don't I just Lucian? I mean, Lucian is 27. It's like less damage, but it's, it's consistent. It's gonna land, right? Yeah, actually, I you know, I am actually farming. Like, people are saying, do, do, do double Lucian. I am farming giants to get a Bernard up to do that. Because I don't have a Bernard. Because I don't have the runes for it. That's why I'm not 6-starring it yet. I don't have luck in giants. At all. I don't have luck at all, period. What am I talking about? What giants? Period, I don't have luck. Not in summers, not in anywhere. I'm just lucky for you guys. That's all. I guess I've got that going for me. What the fuck? Wait a second! Oh! I did it again! I did it again! It's the fucking wrong Lucian! Oh my god! Oh my god! I did it again! Oh. Okay. Okay, fuck! 
Skrr, where is that? Where are you at? Which one is it? It's not this one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Where the fuck you at? This guy. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. We won't ever have that mistake ever again. It's start. Alright, it's start. Oh shit. Oh shit. That, oh my god. That was so embarrassing. Alright, let's, let's finish what we started again. Oh, this time we don't get. Oh my god. This time we don't get. Oh crap, this time we don't get Chloe. This time it's not not as not as beautiful as it as it was. What should I do here? I'm gonna I'm gonna do some Nah. Not enough damage anyway. This is gonna kill everything except for Chloe, right? Of course Stormar's gonna get endure. And violent. And violent. Of course, of course. Of course it's gonna get violent. Let's just kill it. Yeah, let's just I don't even care about buffs, I just wanna kill it first. Now we can buff again. And that's a delusion because this Chloe's gonna quit for like 5,000. See, I told you! Chloe's gonna quit! For 8 fucking thousand! It always happens! Quit Chloe! Enemy Chloe always quits! Somehow they always ruin H some HP, crit damage, HP kind of. My fucking 10,000, 8,000 quit on the fucking Chloe! <laughs> it's a fucking Darien, right? I guess the multiplier is like a Darien multiplier. It's about there. Fuck that, let's do this. She's gonna do either fanatic or heal now. I'm hoping she fanatics. I hope we can stun her. Oh man. It's gonna take forever to quit her. Alright, come on. Oh, so tanky, she's gonna do fanatic. Oh, no. No fanatic? No, then you did. <laughs> quit Chloe, man. Let's see. Brutus 805. What is this? I've never seen him before. Oh my god, Artemil. What is this? How is this here? I mean, it's a level fucking 39. Fucking. It's a level 39. Dude. 39 Chloe with Artemil and Burmos and Brian. It's so wombable. I don't see how it's supposed to work. I don't see how it's gonna work at all. Like, it's gonna die. Like, sh flat out. It's just. Oh my god. I see why it's working now. Look at this. Look at this slow piece of shit. Oh, this is fucking bullshit! Really? It is! What do I do now? I'm fucked now. Look, she's gonna buff Fnatic. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can I do this? No, I can't do that. It's not gonna... Actually, I can. Right? But then who am I gonna kill? If I do this? I'm gonna reduce her attack bar, okay? She resisted, bitch! Oh my god. And then she didn't do Fnatic. Which means if my armor broke, it would have been better. I mean, is this gonna kill? Almost, I guess. What do we do now? I think we kill Chloe first. Alright, never mind. We stun her up, so now we do this. Oh, fuck her! Everyone stand up! Just fuck this Vermos! Oh my god! 2000 damage! Fucking uh, Galleon! Such a piece of shit! That we win anyway. <sighs> wow, okay. What's this? Kokani. Actually, we don't have. Let's just. Alright, we should have time. Let's do him. What's this? I mean, this isn't gonna work. Not against me. I'm just gonna do it. Like, his pro is gonna predict the future, right? And. And then I'm just gonna move and kill him. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. Because he's got speed leader, so I assume his, his pra is pretty fast. And it's probably a fast mars. But I don't see it being faster than me at all. You see? Galen's gonna move. OG's gonna move. Doesn't matter, we don't get Jemaya. Not important. What's important is Praha dies. Along with what's his face, along with what's his face, along with Theomars. I'm gonna do this. Actually, I'm gonna do this. Oh no, I shouldn't have this fucker! Ah! I knew it that there was a possibility of him being on Nemesis. But I guess I guess, you know. 
when all the dust settles, when all is said and done, still, Lucian's still gonna wreck everyone here. Yep. Yeah, we just do this. We can just, yeah. We got two weeks left. Actually, we got five. Let's. We, I can do the. I can do the. Uh, hey, look, this girl. I've never seen her before. What's she holding? It's a lollipop. All right. What? What does she have? All right. She's the girl. <laughs> um. Should I cut her some slack? No way. Let's just kill it. It's probably fake. Good. You see, this is what Koei's are supposed to do. You're supposed to be fast like this. So I can do this. Right? This is the meta. <laughs> you guys are supposed to be fast. Right? Uh, this is falling right into my, you know. This is like a, a perfect example of what I do against Koei's. Koei comms. Should I kill? Actually, nah, I don't need to. I can do this. Actually, I should have. Actually, nah, I don't need to. I can do this. There we go. Let's, uh, let's, 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 let's do this guy. What's this? Oh, I can't. I can't wobble this. But again, this is like... I don't know. I'm, I mean, I'm not in a hurry. It's not rush hour. Like, Amada is just so useful in situations like this. She's just so useful, and I'm gonna use her. I am. Um, I'm gonna use Amida. I'm gonna use what else should I go? Um, I'm gonna go Amida. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna just have fun with Bethany for a bit. <laughs> okay, I am. I am. Where are my Bethany? Bethany, Amida. All right, Galleon. And Lumi. Yes? What if Veromoth kills Bethany? Is that possible? Very possible. Like very very. I'm gonna go um, this guy instead. Praha. Instead of Lumi, I'm gonna go Praha. And I'm gonna go... Do I want Galleon? I don't know. Do I want Galleon? Alright, let's go Galleon. And we'll try. We'll try to kill Veromoth before he stuns us. Like we'll, we'll, we'll break the Chloe buff. And we'll stun Veramos in the process of that. Alright, and Galen's gonna do armor break. And we'll kill Veramos. Okay. Did not get Veramos. The thing now, if I do this, right? What's gonna happen is, Veramos gonna stun me. But I'm still gonna do it. Veramos gonna do stun. Gonna get everyone. I knew it's gonna get everyone except the Will Runes guy. Right? So I have this now. Should I try to kill Veramos? Yeah. God damn it, fucking Bethany! Fucking Bethany! What a dumbass! Bethany sucks. I'm sorry, she does. She does suck, okay? I gotta use Pra heal. She got double fucking, you know. She didn't ignore twice. You know, I mean, not even. And now she don't have attack buff. What are you gonna do without attack buff? Oh, you can still kill. Oh, still twenty two thousand without attack buff. Okay, all right. I guess that's not so bad. That's not so bad. I don't have to kill Perna, like I said, I mean, I can go for Chloe first, yeah. But I don't need to also because I have Praha to remove those buffs, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go for, what's his face, Kumar first. I'm gonna go for Kumar. I don't see a, I don't, I'm not in no hurry to actually, you know, kill Perna. Oh, Perna died there. <laughs> wow, okay. I didn't know that that did, like, how much did that do? That did 20,000? Okay, that's not... I didn't know Bethany did 20,000 on Wedge Arrow. 
I didn't know that was possible with Wedge Arrow. Um, wow, I've got so many choices here. I can kill everyone, right? Um, let's kill Chloe first. And then we, we should kill him. Oh, no. No, then... Then... Then this should kill him. <laughs> wow, I didn't know. To be honest, I really didn't know that Bethany did. 20,000. That's actually decent damage. Considering she's dark, because she will quit everyone. Right? There was 20,000. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's just continue. I wanna, I wanna continue Arena. I wanna continue. Eh? Eh? I can't give? Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go all the way down to the, the, the ghetto arena part of, <laughs> of my friends list. Alright, let's do that. And one for you and you as well. Okay. Alright, let's see. Alright. Let's refresh. Let's look for more people, more variety. Oh, it's my guilty. What has he got? His fresh perna. This is his fresh perna. You know? He got this um, at our last gathering. You know, we had a Summoner's War gathering, like our guild had this big gathering, um, people flew in from other countries as well. Well, actually just from Indonesia, right? And we had this big summon session. The video is somewhere, I don't have it, I think one of my guildies recorded it. And he got a Perna, it's a fresh Perna. And he wasn't so happy about it, he was like, you know, he doesn't feel like Perna is really good, but I feel that Perna is really strong. And he finishes G3 every week because he has a really solid defense. But, let's do Bethany again. Yeah? Yeah, let's do better. Let's do this again. Let's do this again. Let's try to pop um either Chiwu or Velajul first. Let's try that. He doesn't have an armor breaker, right? Yeah, there's no armor breaker here. I just noticed that. I'm gonna try, try to stun him. Did not work. I'm not. I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna go time to loot because. I'm not gonna kill Perna first anyway, so I'm gonna see whoever I get with armor break. Oh, I got them all. All right, and uh, I'm gonna kill Velajul first because fuck immunity. <laughs> see, even if if there wasn't an ignore, I think Velajul would be dead. I think. Um, I'm gonna stun this guy. Yeah, because he's got heal recovery. I mean recovery debuff. I don't want that happening right now. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do wedge arrow right after this. I think it's about time we heal. Oh my god! Oh my god, he got it off! And I was like, it's about time we do the heal! And it's two turns! I cannot heal! That's a dead Bethany! It's two turns! I cannot heal! Why am I saying that again? Yes, it's two to- Oh my god, what timing! Holy shit, let's kill this guy first. Oh my god, I knew it. I knew he was going to go for Bethany. I totally knew that was gonna come. What we're gonna do here is this. And uh, I think Bethany still has- Never mind, I take that back. Bethany does not have. <laughs> Alright, so it's gonna be double water against double fire and he got the resistance of that. Good. Good for him. Can we try stun again? Good. Finally. Is he gonna violent? Good. He's gonna land this and, and not and not glance. Good. Of course you are. Of course you are, but fuck your perna. Alright, reduce his attack bar. I think we still got this. But wow, the timing on that. I was like, it's about time to heal a meta and then he lands that. that that the that, that heal recovery shit thing. Alright, we do this. And I just... Yeah. Alright. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess Amida probably needs some immunity there, right? Do I, what? I thought I, I thought I did the quest. I did, right? Oh, I didn't collect the wings yet. Okay. So let's do it. three more wings. Let's go. 
Berserk. What's he got? All right. That, that's the end of a Meza. That's the end of a Meza. All right. That's the end. You know, I'm thinking. I was I was thinking. Is there enough AOE from Wedge Wedge Arrow to kill? Not really, unless he's on Witch Rage Blade. It's not gonna be enough damage to kill to go through all of this. Not enough. We'll have to do some. This one will have to be something like. Uh, it will have to be. Actually, we can do a lot of things here. Um, but I think. We'll yeah, we'll just go Theomars for this. All right, we'll do that. We'll do this. You know, you've seen this before. Um, I'm thinking we can go. Uh, Praha? Yeah, I think we can go Praha for this. And we can go Kali for this. I think we'll be fast enough. I think we will be faster than the Praha. Alright, we will. Chloe's gonna buff. We're gonna do Predictor Future. Kali's gonna buff Speed. And then we're gonna kill Theomars before anything happens. Alright, his Chloe didn't do that. Didn't do what I wanted him to do. So we do this. And uh, we do this. Wait a second! Oh my god, okay. Oh shit, we didn't get- Oh my god, we did not get- If I do predict the future now, what's going to happen is... Theomar's gonna die, because Theomar's gonna move. Alright. I was afraid that his Chloe would steal the turn, but it's okay, we're good. We're good. Next up, we go for Kuma. Because, you know, that's really the only thing that's- Pretty much, that's the only thing that's gonna kill us. Kill us. All right, so we do this, and then we do this. If we get armor break on the first hit, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Alright, and then let's kill Praha next. Come on. Let me. Stop proccing Violet now! I don't need it now. Should I heal? I don't wanna heal. I think we can go one more turn. I think we can. Because Pra is gonna do heal next turn. No? No, okay, then we heal now. Then we heal now. Then we. If we armor break Praha. Alright, that's a dead Praha. Yep. What happened? Why can't I buff? Oh, I got stunned. Like if you get stunned, you know, you lose the buff and you, you don't, your skills don't go off cool. I mean, the, the, the cooldowns don't get reduced whenever you get stunned. That's why stuns are so good. Let's just refresh again. Let's see if there's anyone interesting to do. Tiger, let's do Tiger. This guy is like Tiger, Feather, something. I don't, I don't know how to read the last part. Oh my god, Tiana Chandra. Okay, I would have to outspeed this Tiana and pop. All right, I will have to outspeed this Tiana. Hang on a second here. He, um, Wombo. Yes, no, no. They don't have immunity. I could. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try Wombo. I'm gonna see if I can outspeed this Tiana. But it's highly unlikely. Why? Because this Tiana is likely to be on Swift, and I'm on Violet. My my Violet Jewel. I don't have a Bernard. If I had a Bernard, this be dead. So easy. But I don't. But let's try. Alright, I've got two more wings. Let's try this. Let's try this. Let's try this. Um This guy. Let's go. Lucian. Yes? Yes, let's go Lucian. Actually I'm thinking go Bethany. No, let's go Lucian. Let's go Lucian. But actually Lucian is not even gonna kill. Right, because this Chandra is gonna be so tanky. He is. But let's go, Lucian. Let's see. He's like, I'm sure this. What's his face? Tiana is going to be faster. We'll see. We'll see if my villager can move in between. There could be a chance. No, I'm dead. Oh my god, Tiana did not use. Tiana did not use Winds of Change. It, I got lucky. That time, I got lucky. Even though, you know, I'm probably still gonna lose. I think... I don't know. Let's see. 
All right, this Chandra is way too tanky. He's way too tanky. What? Wait a second. Oh, 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 oh. What the fuck? What the fuck? Um. Let's do this. My screen. My screen is like Japanese porn. It is. It's fucking Japanese porn right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna kill this Chandra. And the person's gonna self destruct and pro fucking. Oh my god! This is not cool, man. I planned on Lucian killing. Now I have to. Now, now it's gonna be. It's gonna be troublesome. Shit, because Perna proc three times. Alright, Perna healed Thomas three times. Holy shit. Now I'm. Galleon's not gonna kill. Holy shit, Galleon's gonna lose this. Galleon's gonna lose this. Perna's gonna crit him. Reduce attack by prop violent! Resistance! I tell you this game is fucking bullshit. It's fucking bullshit, right? We got one more wing, let's just fuck him up. Alright, let me see, let me see. What do I wanna do here? This fucking Perna! I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna do uh Theomars, yes I am. <coughs> I'm gonna do Theomars. I'm gonna do a Meta again. Because this Perna is just gonna attack a Meta. So what I need next for the last guy there is something that can... That can uh, heal. Alright, right. Let's try, let's try this, let's try this. Where my fucking... Fucking... Uh, Lumi and Omeda. Alright, Amida's here. Lumi should be before that because she was... Alright, let's try this. Oh, we could have gone... We could have outspeed them with fucking Theomars the Siren, but... I want to try this. Again, she didn't use Winds of Change, which is going to fuck her up. Because right now what's going to happen is this. And then we're going to do this. Of course, of course we don't get it, you know, I know. Of course we don't get the the first armor break, but it's cool, we reset Endure. We reset Endure, they have no healer, right? They have no healer, and that's a dead Theomars. It's a dead Theomars, it's cool. Now we can do whatever you want, it doesn't matter, there's no armor breaker. Next up we kill Chandra. Wow, that's a tanky Chandra. It's a tanky, it's a tanky, tanky Chandra. It is. And um, I'm running out of time here. Should I heal? No. It's a, oh my god. Wait a second. This not. Oh, what the fuck? I didn't know that Tiana had armor break. <laughs> I didn't know that. Um, But yeah, I'm still gonna kill him first. Because, in my opinion, right? Chandra's the only one that is the wild card here that can kill me. There's no way Perna is going to kill me. So if I kill Chandra now, I can even kill Tiana first. Because... Like, look at that. 3k crits is not going to kill me. Like... I'm just going to kill Tiana first. And did not work, so I'm going to do this. Can we slow his attack speed? Alright. This Perna is getting on my nerves. It's... Let's think about Perna, what makes it... Like, you see, they, they, every time he moves, he heals people. It's fucking annoying! And by the way, did you notice that just now I was critting Chandra? For only 6,000. That Chandra had some good defense runes on. And this Perna is so resistant. Lumi, max, max accuracy. With a skill that has 100% chance to res reset skills and Perna resist it. Fortunately, I didn't try to, to bring Tessarian into this because then, then you know, Tessarian would have Oblivion resisted. I'm pretty sure that would happen. 
Do we have any more wings? No more wings. All right, all right. No more wings. What's going on? Let's see. Fucking snakes. Never mind. Let's read some of your comments. Let's do giants. This is what I'm doing for giants right now. It's a YOLO team, no healer. It's 100% success rate. Unless I'm recording. All right? It's 100% unless I'm recording. That's how it is. <laughs> when I record, things happen. Bad things happen all the time. So anyway, let's, I picked up some comments, you know, like I don't reply to everything, but I read and what I, what is, whatever is interesting, I just take down. I'm just going to lower the volume a little here. Alright, so this is the first one by Mimo1407. Random, really random, I came. She's <laughs> just like, I came. Cool, good to know, good to know that you came. We all come every once in a while. This guy, fucking grammar nasty or something, he says, Past tense of spit is spat and not spat. How do you know that I'm saying spat and not spat? Or spat and not spat? They all sound the same! What the fuck? Right? How do you pronounce spat? As an S-P-E-T, it's, pr it's pronounced the same as S-P-A-T, which is spat. This guy, dude, Sam. Don't go to Genting. There's a ghost. There's ghost at that place. Now this, what he's saying is, depending on whether you believe in ghosts or not, all right. But in most Asian casinos, right, it's believed that the casino owners, okay, that they keep ghosts that work for them. Like they feed these ghosts, and these ghosts work for them. Now you can, you can check if you don't believe me. Right, you can go to any casino in Asia, right? You can go to any casino in Asia. What you will notice, right? Is sometimes uh, you, you, you look under the tables, you know, the casino tables, you know, just don't go crawling on the floor, but you know, you look under the tables and sometimes you will find sweets. And these sweets are there to feed these little ghosts, right? Like these ghosts are actually, you know, in what what people believe to be unborn fetus Fet feti I don't know what the pro plural of fetus right unborn babies so the ghost of unborn babies so they get the, the they, they put this fetus I know it's really gross right that's that's Asia for you we do all the gross the grossest things <laughs> all right so so unborn fetus in a jar I don't know I, I don't know what to do with it to be honest. I, I have no experience on that, but yeah, it's been it's been rumored that there are ghosts in casinos and they're, they're there to make you lose. You know, they, they fuck up your, your, your luck and things like that. That's why the house always wins, right? But then again, this is stuff that we think it's there. There is actually no hard, you know, evidence or things like that, but... Yeah, I get the point. There is ghosts at that place. There's ghosts everywhere, right? If you do believe so, right? People believe different things. Like, like different cultures believe different things. Some people believe that after you die, you go to heaven or hell, and you get eternity wherever you are in heaven or hell, right? Some people believe when you die, it's nothing. You just disappear. There's no more you. Some people believe that when you die, you know, you get reincarnated and you come back to life as a different person but you look the same right or something like that there's many many beliefs i don't even know why we're talking about beliefs right now it was talking but i'm still going to yeah i'm going this weekend wish me luck hope i don't lose everything this one an insult from a language in ghana um bracket enunciate every single vowel oh here tomo Trumu Niki. This means your face resembles a rectum. <laughs> Ghana. People say that in Ghana, your face resembles a rectum. Wow. <laughs> oh here, Tomo Trumu. That's so hard. We're better off just saying fuck you. Right? <laughs> fuck off. You look, look, you look like shit. Your face is shit. <laughs> Oh here, Tomo. Ain't nobody got time for Oh here, Tomo Trumo Nikki. It's too long. It's too long. 
You just have girls on your friends list, you womanizer! Wow! Don't judge me! Like, I mean, come on! No, you're... Like, if you're into online gaming, I mean, playing games online, and you think that you're gonna get late or get lucky with the girls online, wake up. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> I just add girls because I mean it's I'd rather give social points which conveniently what the fuck see I told you every time when I'm recording shit happens this doesn't happen I swear to god this doesn't happen anyway back to that social points are conveniently shaped like a heart right and you really don't want to give like a heart to some dude putting on his most swag face like you know like giving this best photogenic smile or something. I I mean, no. <laughs> so yeah, I'd rather give hearts to, you know, it's, it's normal. I don't see anything wrong with that. You should do that. It, you know, it gives, you're, you're, you're more honest when you're giving social points. Right, in that sense. Next one. <laughs> you take a year to pie charters, so I'm a dis. Like all your bits. I don't even know. Like you don't even give me a chance for redemption. What is pie charters? You take a year to pie charters. So I'm a dislike all your bits. Cool. I mean fine. I don't even know what pie charters is. But yeah, alright. So you're that guy. You're that one person. That's disliking the moment I upload. You're that one guy. Mr. Doovers. Mrs. Doovers. I don't even know. I don't even know. Do verse. I don't even know. <laughs> Nelson, what's what dollar sign? What's your life outside someone's war? Is this pertaining to money? Because you put a dollar sign there. What money your life or what's my life outside of someone's war? I play other games as well. I play many other games actually. I mean, I I do have like a social life as well, but not much. <laughs> like. Most of the time I spend is, you know, making making the day's video every day. That's most of the time. Alright? That's most of the time. And when I do get time, for example, Sundays, because like Sundays, you know, I upload the stream from Saturday because I work double on Saturday. I make the video and then I stream. And then so I can upload the stream on Sunday. So Sundays I get a little time. Usually Usually the whole morning, like the whole day. I will spend that time not saying a single word. Yes, I will like not say a single word. Every conversation that I have, you know, everything that I want to say is in my head. I don't open my mouth, you know, a single time <laughs> on Sundays. Like I just want to rest, rest, you know, my throat, so that you know I can you can hear me for as long as possible. I don't know, I don't know how how many how many more years does my voice box have. <laughs> Right, so I just like give it a rest on Sunday. I generally don't don't talk much on Sundays. Sometimes I go out and meet people, which I did last week, which was pretty fun. Yeah, but I didn't talk that much as well because I'm just used to not talking so much on Sundays, right? But I'm looking to have more, you know, activities going on, not only on Sundays, like you know maybe during the week as well. Meet up with people, get to know more. It's quite interesting, you know, to. To meet people who play Summoner's War or you know just meet people in general and just know more about people Like what are people doing? What are like the group that I went out on Sunday? They are like Crazy about photos like they just keep taking selfies. They just keep taking selfies. I bumped into one of them I was I was at the toilet, right? I was taking a piss It's a male toilet. All right, it's not a unisex toilet. It's a male toilet and one of them I'm, I'm I'm not gonna mention names, but John <laughs> is taking a fucking selfie in the toilet and adjusting his hair. Like, <laughs> like people do different things. I'm not judging it. I mean, am I? Am I actually judging it? I don't know. Like people do different things. Oh shit, shit, bro. And it's interesting to find out what people do. Like you know, they are like they are pretty professional at taking selfies. Like I don't give a shit. Like, whether the photo turns out good or not, I don't care. You guys see me, you know, like, in the ugliest form possible already, so I don't really care, right? Like, they're like, 
they take a selfie, like we took like group photos and things like that. And like even today, till date, I was like, hey, um, you guys took some photos. Why not, you know, send me some of them. I can put them on Facebook or whatever. And 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 one of the girls like, no, <laughs> next time. And you know what she said? She, I quote, all right. I was wearing the wrong shirt. Stripes don't go with my face. What the fuck? I don't know. Like they're, they're, they're like they have this thing about selfies, man. I to me, I did, to me, you know, photos are photos. I, I, whether you look amazing in this one, I, I don't really care. But apparently, different people have different, you know, are um, prioritize things differently. I'm not against. I mean, I'm cool with that. I mean, if 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 it. If it if you you don't want if you are not happy with it, I'm okay with that. I'm totally okay with that. But I am very surprised. I'm very surprised on the emphasis of you know looking really good. Like, I mean, yeah, it's true. Looking good is important because I mean, people say that you know if you are looking for a wife, a girlfriend, a husband, boyfriend, whatever personality, you know. It's good to, you know, find someone that has, the, you know, that it says good personality or something like that. But hey, you can't fuck personality, right? So I guess, to an extent, it is important to look good. I guess. But it was really funny. <laughs> it was like really funny. It's like a single picture, right? It's like a single picture and they're like... Taking like... What's that called? What's the word for that? Like stutter? Shutter? Stutter? Shots? I don't know what is that. Like many shots. For every split second, <laughs> every split second, I don't know. It's like, oh, my head looks big in this one. Gotta stand further behind. <laughs> what the fuck? But it was, it was funny. It's funny. Yeah. So yeah. Oh yeah. Back. What's my life outside some of this war? I guess it's, it's sort of that. Sometimes I go out with friends. You know, just have like a nice conversation over dinner or something like that. The thing about Singapore is like, a lot of what you do revolves around food. Because it's such a small place, there really isn't anything left to do. Because at this age, right, when you pass your 20s, you've done everything there is to do in Singapore. Barring things you can't afford, alright? Barring things you can't afford, the average things that you can do in Singapore, that every middle class person can do in Singapore, it's been done. It's been done, and yeah, so there's really nothing much to do besides eat and talk. And you know if you, you if you're if you're like you, if you have a boyfriend girlfriend and fuck you talk fuck watch movies that's about it right like if you want to do anything more it's gotta be overseas or something what's this last question how was living in the military camp that they treat you well how was living in the military camp. Life in the military is the same everywhere, I presume. I've not been, of course, obviously, I haven't been into different armies before, but I've met people from different navies before. Like, when we sail to other countries, generally, we will, you know, mingle with the sailors from, from other countries, and we would, like, you know, get to know what, you know, what, what's going on, how much are they getting paid, you know, this, this is one of the favorite things that we like to talk about, and, you know, what are their habits and things like that. And generally, it's pretty much the same everywhere. It's like, the first year or the first couple of years, it's gonna be shit. You're the lowest life form. You are dispensable. Right? You have, you're the, you, you, everything that has to do with shit, it's got your name on it. Everything that has got to do with tedious and no one wants to do it, you are doing it. That's, I was doing it. That's how the first couple of years went. And then years pass by and you get, you know, the more ranks, the more stripes you get, the more ranks you get, the more power you get, right? The more responsibilities you get as well, then the more money you get, right? Life gets easier. You got people under you, you got, you know, I think that the first two years were pretty rough, but I got through it pretty well because I, I, I you know, I, I identified the right dicks to suck and I sucked them good. <laughs> Not literally. <laughs> Not literally. Like, you know the people who can make a difference in your life as the lowest life form. And you make them love you, that's it. <laughs> right? You make them like you. That's it. That's how it is. I mean, this is simply put, that's how it is. It's not, 
it's just the way of life. Like, be like water. Like Bruce Lee said that, right? Be like water, my friend. Like water, you know, you put water into a jar, it takes the shape of, shape of a jar. You put it, you know, into a square, it takes the shape of a square. You get, you get what I'm saying, right? Be what you, be, be whoever you are according to the surrounding is, especially in an organ, organization like the military, right? It will help you survive. Situational awareness is what I, it's what I learned. I think it's the most valuable takeaway from the things that I learned when I was a sailor. Like be aware of what's going on around you. Be aware of who not to piss off. Be aware if that person that you shouldn't be pissing off is around you. You know, and things like that. These are very important skills that you don't really learn unless you're put into such an environment, all right? Where, you know, if you make the wrong move, checkmate. You don't have to, you, you don't get to go home. You get to be locked on a ship and do all the shitty things for the next couple of years. It's very important to be at the right place at the right time doing the right thing. That's how it is. That's how it is. So the first couple of years, like I said, was really shit. I remember, I remember the first day, I remember the first first night I stayed on, you know, like, uh, on the ship, all right? Like, I had it lucky, I had it, I, I was pretty lucky, like, there were, you know, I, there, there was like a batch of us, like, like there were like eight of us that, that went onto the ships at the same time, and we would have to, we were told to prepare to stay on the ship for two weeks, you can't go home, you have to do, you know, you basically, you're the fucking dog on the ship, can't go home, you have to do, we weren't even sailing, the ship was in harbor, but you have to do every, like, shitty thing. And that's like the lowest life form thing, right? And I like I, I was home on the first day. <laughs> like all my friends were like, you know, it was time to go home. Like I shouldn't be going home. And then there I was, you know, with my bag, you know, walking down the wharf, the pier, and I'm walking past the other ships and I see my, my, my friends, they're like scrubbing the decks and they're looking at me like what the fuck whose dick did you suck? <laughs> Yeah, that was it. So, so I had a pretty, you know, pretty good start, and uh, yeah, and then you know things got better. I got, I got people under me, and I was really lucky. Like the people that 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 joined under me, that I won't. They're like my. We're all in the same department, but they're like lower ranked than me. So I, I get to get them to do my the shit that I don't want to do. So it was pretty good, and I was fortunate because those like I had like a few guys that came join my department. Uh, like my engineering department and like they were like the, the creme de la creme the best of the best they were the hard-working try-hard motherfuckers they were there to make a name for themselves in the Navy they wanted to be the best of this and that and I was so lucky that they they were working for me because you know the other people don't like to do stuff and they're like Sure, bring it on. I'll clean the toilets. I'll do this. I'll I'll do all the oily fucking changing the fucking engine oil or something that I don't do that. Like s seven years as an engineer, I didn't get my hands black. <laughs> I stay in the fucking echo room just just crunching numbers and shit. Right? So I was really lucky in that sense. And um, hang on a second here. All right. So, uh, and then the last. Actually, what was the question? I'm drifting away like so far. I can't even remember. Are you how? So all in all, I guess cut a long story short, right? I guess you know if I would choose again, if I had a choice to you know to choose again, would I go through the same path? Would I still join the Navy? Yes, I would still because it's not something that you can get outside, you know, in another job. Because in the Navy, you know, disregarding all, all that stuff that I said, it's like when you're out at sea, it is like a family, you know. There's, we don't talk about ranks when we're out at sea, no. Because it's like everyone's life depends on the other person doing his job. So you form this weird kind of bond. Like, you become really close, and I guess, is, is camaraderie the word? I'm, you get really close, and it's like you become like a, 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 you get an extended family outside of your own, right? And I don't regret, you know, 
getting that family. It was, they were they were all really nice people, and we had a lot of fun together. Like collectively, we probably fucked like ten thousand girls together. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> all right, all right, that's it, that's it. Oh look, look, my friend revenged me. <laughs> Fucking scrub. <laughs> all right, all right. So that's all the time we have for today. Um, yeah, we're not gonna do a random review, right? So. Giveaway details are at the end of the video. Also, we we're gonna pick last video. Last giveaways winner, right? Is the cap, right? The last time. So, we're gonna pick that after this. So, that's all. That's all. Alright? I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!